you can take go ahead my name is alex my name is brian i'm joey so today we're going to be talking about um, sending some tracks from pro tools into some outboard gear so basically we're going to start by sending our output to really any of the outputs on the console on 25 through 48 so right now we have everything going out a3 and 4 which corresponds to 3 and 4 on here make sure we're on fader mode so this is what we're going to be sending to the distressor and in order to get that to the distressor we are going to do an aux send so select that and go to aux so that'll be aux 1 and that's our aux level and then aux 2 right there um, and then Alex you want to explain yeah so coming from Pro Tools into the distressor we're coming option analog out this is going into the distressor and then returning into the DM2000 mic line in which corresponds to the same as like the wall panel so it's layers 1 through 24 great so um I guess we don't really have so why don't you go to push play and see if we have signal on the, the distressor we are compressing <laughs> great so okay we're in then you said it comes back into like one and two or wherever you plug mm -hmm. plug it in on the fader layer. Okay, it's on the mic level and you don't don't touch the preamp up there, you won't need it. Oh, it's probably plenty hot. So it comes back. Got selected one through twenty-four. You can see it coming back, hitting channels one and two. So then if you want to record that, you just make sure your direct is assigned. You create your new tracks in the computer. And then you can record what's coming out of, of these tracks. Whew! Wrapping that's been quite a sonic journey. <laughs> but it can be done. Thanks for talking us through that, guys. I think many people will benefit from this.